What are symptoms of ovarian torsion? What side does it happen on? And what is the treatment? Welcome back to the Fem Health Channel, a medical education channel by Doctors For You. Ovarian torsion is a very serious medical problem. It most commonly happens in women of reproductive age, but it can also happen in young women and teens, especially those between 10 and 20 years old because of hormonal changes and ovarian growth. About 30% of all cases happen in girls under the age of 20. In ovarian torsion, your ovary twists around the ligaments that support it. It is dangerous because this twisting can cut off blood flow to the ovary, and this can cause permanent damage to the ovary if the right steps are not taken. So, what are the symptoms of an ovarian torsion, and how can you know you're having one? The most common symptom of ovarian torsion is sudden, severe abdominal or pelvic pain that usually stays on just one side. Interestingly, the right ovary is more often affected than the left. This may be because the sigmoid colon is on the left side of the body, and it could offer some protection to that side. This pain is usually focused and does not spread to other parts of the body. The pain can be constant or it may come and go. Many patients also have nausea and vomiting. Some data suggests that intense physical activity might sometimes cause ovarian torsion in people who are more likely to get it. But this isn't the usual case. Most patients don't have a clear reason for the pain, and it usually starts suddenly without warning. So, while exercise can occasionally lead to torsion, it is not a common or main cause for most people. Although the pain is typically very sharp and sudden, some people, especially younger girls or pregnant women, could have milder or more vague symptoms. Unfortunately, when people have vague symptoms, it can delay diagnosis and treatment. Why does ovarian torsion happen? Ovarian torsion often happens because there is a cyst or a mass on the ovary, especially if it's bigger than five centimeters. But ovarian torsion can still occur in ovaries that look normal. In adolescence, nearly half of all torsion cases happen without an obvious mass. The risk of ovarian torsion goes up during egg freezing, especially during and right after the part where the ovaries are stimulated to make many eggs. This happens because the ovaries grow quickly and get bigger due to the developing eggs. When the ovaries are larger and more movable, they are more likely to twist. How to diagnose and treat ovarian torsion? Doctors can use a pelvic ultrasound to evaluate the ovary, and they may see signs like an enlarged ovary, swelling, fluid around the ovary, or a pattern where follicles are pushed to the edge, sometimes called the string of pearls sign. Because no imaging test or symptom can definitively confirm ovarian torsion, the best way to diagnose and treat ovarian torsion is through a procedure called laparoscopy when suspicion is high. This is when a small camera is inserted into the belly to see the ovary directly. Having surgery is important to untwist the ovary and bring blood flow back to the ovary. Waiting too long can lead to permanent damage and loss of the ovary. If this happens, it can impact future fertility. Ovarian torsion is a medical emergency. Sudden one-sided pelvic pain with nausea or vomiting in a woman of reproductive age is very concerning. If you ever experience these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention immediately.